Welcome back to Muse Farms in the Nether. Just like I promised at the end of last episode, I did build a ladder, except I also built ah! all of this. Oh my god, what are we looking at right now? I don't, I don't what is this? I don't even... <laughs> ah, okay, so let me try and describe this. I decided to go ahead and, even though I filmed building all of this, I decided to omit it from putting it all on YouTube. Because this took a long time. This was like probably four hours to get all this taken care of. Um, and it's not even actually done yet. We still have work to finish today up top. But this is the timer and the piston portion of the entire blaze suffocation trap done. So let me sort of walk you through it bit by bit and see if I can describe this. Before I get started, I'd like to mention that this is by far not the most easy to understand design, nor, well, I mean, it, I think it is probably a fairly space efficient design because I had to squeeze it into this relatively small area and I kept running out of resources and I would leave a wall open and gas would shoot at me and I'd end up putting it up, run out of resources, tear down this wall, blazes would shoot at me from that side. So it was a very, very frustrating experience and that's why it took so long because redstone probably got blown up about five or six times over the long run. It would have benefited me more to just make sure I had a huge wide open space and then block it off. But I didn't, and I kept thinking I was just about to be done, and that ended up not being the case. So first you can see our timer is different. We actually made it a little bit longer. You see little skips right here, because I needed to fine tune the time timing when it came to actually suffocating the blazes. So all in all, this is a 12 second timer, just that's that's all you need to know right now is there's a 12 second loop right here. Now when we go over to the piston portion, there are actually three, oh there goes a little blaze, there's actually three portions of pistons. There's the top piston, whose purpose is to block the blaze in, which I'll mention that in just a second. There's the middle portion, whose job is to actually do the suffocating. And the reason the top is in place is because when you just suffocate them normally, they try to jump back up and jump out. But we can pop this one open in to make sure they always come in at the same time, and then it closes to make sure they're not able to jump out is the purpose of the top one. And the bottom piston down here controls the drop block. So as soon as, I forget the exact amount of time, I think it's 9 or 11 seconds or something like that. Uh, I have a diagram somewhere, let me pop that up on the screen right here. Hopefully this is easy enough for you guys to understand. Um, when this thing opens up, that's when they drop back down. And in its current state, well actually I'll, I'll get around to that in a second. So connected to each piston, or in this, in this case at the center, these two pistons because they operate as one unit, so there's three separate ones, there's the top, the middle, and the bottom. Connected to each one is an RS Norlatch. Here's the RS Norlatch for the top. Um, here's the RS Norlatch for the middle, and here's the RS Norlatch for the bottom. When this timer hits a certain time, it strikes one end of the RS Norlatch, and then when it reaches another point on the timer, it hits the other end of the RS Norlatch. So we have exact control by the second, or by the tick rather, over, wow, something just killed my frame rate. That's a good thing about working with this much redstone, is occasionally you have massive frame rate drops. Hopefully that fixes itself pretty soon here. But, um, so we have full control over every single tick of those, of these pistons, so we can choose exactly how long the blaze is spending there. And we've gone ahead and coordinated the entire thing with this ladder right here, which is actually separate from the other ladder over there, which is right right here, yeah. This one just goes straight down to the redstone room. This little ladder right here goes down to a staircase so that we briefly stop off in the redstone room in case we need to jump up here. But also, we can see all of our blazes. Now, you can go ahead and... Oh, I think there's so many blazes is why the frame rate's so bad right here. As you can watch my experience and watch the number of punches. Every one of these blazes is within either one or two punches of death. 
There we go. You can see it just f launching up there at super high speeds. I got down to 10 frames per second. And you want to sort of stand back a little bit when doing this, because if you stand too close, they do tend to shoot you still. One punch. Come on. Come back down, buddy. Come back down. I only got to punch you one time. They have a bad habit of doing this sometimes. It's always the last one, too. There we go. Now you're dead. Two punches. And then a whole bunch of blaze rods. If you stand right here, they can occasionally hit you for some reason, which is a very unpleasant sensation. But if you stand back while you're punching them just a little bit, then you can damage them all without taking any food break. Nom 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 nom. Damage yourself. And I don't, I don't know exactly what the deal is, but my frame rate is still. God, just it just got down to eight frames per second. I'm going to restart and see if that fixes it. Yeah, it looks like it's at least fixed for now. We'll go ahead and wait for this little blaze to drop right here and punch, and you're nice and dead. One hit. There's actually a slight indiscrepancy in the amount of time they spend suffocating, because this block right here, sometimes I counted on that suffocating them once. As you can see, it barely did right there, but the graphic glitched and it was hard to see. But he should be one punch away because of that now. Yeah. Occasionally, this piston right here will not fire as intended, and it will make the blaze be two punches away from death, but that's, you know, a relatively small price to pay. This is actually being really efficient right now, and I was gonna say, this machine actually is not done. There's three blazes in that round. Cool. Okay, so we got all of those guys, and to finish this machine, we actually still need to do all of the work with the pistons up top, because if I felt like breaking this down right now, which I will in a second, I just need to get my anti- uh, what do you call it? My fire resistance potion here. I need to set up all the supplies to make that room actually use the pistons to push them, because they're they're not actually being pushed by the pistons in this room. Uh, the blazes you saw right there were just blazes that were naturally falling down to the center, because the pistons in that room are not set up yet. So to work on that, I need a few pieces of redstone, some redstone torches. I think 19 is going to be... Oh, I don't think it is going to be enough, actually, now that I think about it. So let's get a few more redstone torches set up. Like so. And then hopefully 34 redstone is going to be enough. We only need one redstone per piston, so that should be good. Um, and then we need our solids. I don't really... Well, we're not going to have use for the uh, fire resistance potion once we actually get in there. So potion breaks! Slurp, 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 slurp. Get rid of you, and then let's run inside and get to work. First order business is going to be killing every jerk face that's... Oh my good lord! <laughs> oh my god! That is so many blazes. Um, wow. Okay, so that's, that's why you need to get those pistons working. So I'm going to take a moment here and kill all of these guys. I have no idea how long this is going to take. But I imagine it's going to be quite a few minutes. It might even use up my entire diamond sword. That was like a sea of fire. Oh my god, there's so, so many. Okay, I think we've gotten it down to a reasonable amount of blazes inside this room. Um, all the experience dropped on that side, so I'm really curious to see how many levels I gain when I step in there. So I'm at 32, and let's put you back up, try and kill everyone that gets in my way here, and let's just jump down, get it all at once. <laughs> That's so much experience, at least two two levels instantly from 32 to 34. Okay, now the fun part. Let's make sure we get all these guys nice and killed. Okay, okay, let's get to work here. Start, I guess start on the top level, and I'm gonna be doing what I showed you guys last time. So we do a pressure plate, piece of redstone, and then we go inside and we use two... There is no inside on this side, okay. See, make sure there's no ghasts that can hit us. Wow, you guys are just going to be a huge problem, aren't you? Uh, it's just how it's going to have to. Food. 
just how it's gonna have to be, I guess. I really messed up that food break. That's what happens when I'm thinking when I talk. I'm not good at thinking. Okay, so... You are going to light you. Let's see if I can... Get you all set up, so you're gonna be right there. And then you are right... There. Perfect. So if they try to get in my way, they'll get pushed down. And let's do the same thing on this side. Put you right there, knock you out. And then we have pressure plate, redstone, solid? Yep, solid with a torch right there. Kill this guy, these two guys, these trillion guys. Try and, ow, make sure nothing knocks me down here. Okay, and yeah, I was correct. This is just doing a number on my diamond sword. Die. Both of you die. There we go. Okay, so that is out of the way. Requiring of a torch right here. And then now that those two are set up, we can block this off. And now both of these should be good to go. There we go. You can see it in action when they come down right next to me. And then we're just gonna have to do that. Oh! with every single piston around here. And this is our last fire resistance potion, so it'll be interesting to see if we can do that within um, three minutes and 30 seconds. Pretty grim. Taking some damage. I think we're almost done though. Just need to replace what I just broke here. That. And then it should be all out. Set to go. So let's close this off before we start dying. <sighs> and then this is all the redstone room. We have 11 whole seconds to spare. Um, there's a whole bunch of them down there now too. So we need to go check out our entrance. And I think I got all of the pistons set up as necessary, so this will be a fun little peek right here. Um, try and kill them without getting shot because our fire resistance has run out. Uh, and okay, let's let's go ahead and heal up first before we try any more of that. There should be a blazes saved up down here at the bottom of our trap. Mmm, experience. So we can just punch these guys. We'll wait for our health to come back up. Or there's not that many at all. Oh, you know, because I was in the room up there is why. And they were all floating up to try and get me. None of them were bothering to go down in the trap. Uh, okay, so here we go. Head back up. We've actually got two exits from this place. And it takes so long for health to regenerate. I just want to be able to see inside the room. You know what? We can see inside the room, can't we? We possess the ability to do that. So... Let's get some glass blocks set up here. Try to not get shot while I do this. I know, they're all so interested in coming after me. That's what happens when you're not below them, is they all try and float to the entrance right here. And the only thing that's really missing... Um, food break! Nom 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 Is actually this layer of cobble... Actually, I think it's good right there, because either way, it, it drops them down by... Or no, it makes them go down by two, so they don't want to do that naturally. They will not choose to jump down that way. Uh, you can vaguely see uh, through all this smoke and mess, all the blazes right down there are in the center, getting pushed around by those pistons. But I would like to be able to see that a little bit better. So let's take this and replace it with glass. And I think I want to do that along all of this side. Why was there no redstone right there? That's ridiculous. Well, this one wasn't working as intended. There we go. Now it should be set up properly to start pushing them away. Right? None of them are standing on that one. This one's standing on that. Is that piston extended? It is, but that guy is just breaking the laws of physics for some reason. Oh well. Let's try going down a little bit more and see what we can find here. So oh, this is the piston in the center of this layer. So if we turn this into a floor, we can go to the sides of this one. Ow! Ow! Uh... Or not? Oh, man, there's... I messed that up. There's a piece of redstone right there. Uh, okay. Let's do it like this. 
knock you away, and then put you back in place. Redstone, solid. Redstone torch. Okay, there we go. I think now that'll be functioning a little bit more efficiently than it was last time. And then they cannot step in there because that glass is in the way, so now we can pretty much get a good view of everyone. Um, this is not working as efficiently as I remember. You can still... They're all in the way, but there's that one blaze that's jumping up and down right there that's keeping that piston extended. But... And actually, they're doing a lot of piston glitching. Maybe there's because there's so many blazes, it's glitching out all the pistons. But... Uh, I think either way, it's fine. I mean, you saw beforehand uh, how many blazes there were inside that room. And I think if you just sort of max out the spawns in there, they will all sort of uh, fall to the bottom eventually. Plus, if the player is standing down right here, they're much more likely to want to come after the player. So, let's do this. Uh, I think I'm going to sit here and do this for a few minutes and just see how many levels of experience I can get. I just realized that in the interest of getting today's episode out at a reasonable, probably not even a reasonable hour today, <laughs> um, I think I'll just go ahead and kill what I have right here for experience rather than waiting for like hundreds of them to save up. Because we can always come back to this when we need experience, but I intended on sitting here for like a half an hour to an hour, but that'll just make today's episode come out that much later. So we can just do this overnight or something, or whenever we need experience, just come back here. But for right now, let's get to the punchin' and head back to the farm with our plethora of experience, because we still need to make that freaking uh, Silk Touch pickaxe. Come on. Step down. Step. You, you are the last one left, and you've got to be difficult, don't you? There you go. Okay, so we have level 39, we can food break! Nom 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 Head back to the farmhouse, and then use some of our diamond to build a diamond pickaxe. So is there anything here that needs to return to the farmhouse now that this is all done? Wow, we got so many blaze rods from all this. Uh, glass, like the gold nug, why not? Um, all the nether warts, and I guess all this junk can stay down here for future... Use. I need these also. I forgot I used some of my cobblestone to make smooth stone for some reason. Oh, that's right, because I was making repeaters. Okay, so we still need to hit the nether wart farm on the way out of this place. We also need to keep a close eye on that gas, because there's still a chance that he can blow a hole in our redstone timer if we're standing in just the right spot. And this is where a, a ghast hit here earlier. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, uh, while I was doing all that work off camera on that blaze spawner, I went and I destroyed, yeah, I destroyed this blaze spawner because it was really just creating issues uh, with the blazes show. Whoa, hey, what's up? With the blazes shooting at me. Uh, huh! Boom. That's so much fun, especially through this tiny hole right here. That ghast's head looked huge. It was just making problems when I didn't want to use potions with those blazes catching me on fire, so I went ahead and destroyed that spawner a little bit prematurely. I didn't really notice it slowing down spawn rates on the spawner I was working with anyway, so it didn't make too big of a difference. Okay, and we can now collect all of this nether wart, and then I guess replant it, though I'm not sure why. This is probably more nether wart than we're ever going to need. Uh... There's only one stack uh, necessary, but maybe two. I don't know. So we'll finish heading this up and then head back to the farmhouse. And then take a moment to sort of... Sort of collect ourselves and think about how far we've come. Hello, chickens. Are you having fun on this half of the island? Better be. And sheep. What's up, Mr. Sheep? Are you having fun? And the cow? You know, where were you guys all those episodes ago when I had to go on that huge expedition to get... To get... What, what was I missing? Was it sheeps? Sheeps and pigs? I th yeah, I think it was sheep and... Uh, I got a few sheep. 
but all the precious sheep here on my island now are they're, they're a member of the community. Uh, it is sort of a rainy day though. I think this is a good moment to go visit Beadnox. Sort of give him an update on what all we've done. If I can remember where his grave is. Piggy! Why'd you get all the way over here, Piggy? I guess there was a time when I opened up the pig pen. Hey, Beadnox. I finished the to-do list. Wish you could have been here to see it. We got a lot done. My blaze rod grinder is awesome. It is really effective. How are you doing? Having fun? Watching over us? He's probably what's kept us safe. Maybe the fact that I can't die and I just constantly respawn is what kept us safe. Sadly, Beadnox did not have that capability. Piggy! Go keep Feednox company. Yeah, he's, he's over there. Yeah, over there. No, not me. No. Not me, Piggy. So, oh, don't be ashamed. Yeah, that way. He's, uh, you are just ignoring the crap out of me, aren't you? Well, he'll come around to his senses. He'll start keeping Beadnox company. In the meantime, I should take a food break. Nom, 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 nom. I am going to have to hit up our quarry. Because, if you recall, many... Many moons ago, I think at the very first episode of Muse Farms, I said that the whole purpose of Muse Farms was to be preparing myself to fight the Ender Dragon. Hey puppies! And cows! I know, you've been so good! This whole series, none of you has escaped once! Granted, it's probably because I never come in there. Hey good job, puppies. Um, it's been a while since we've hung out, child's laughter. It's been a long time, actually. You can hang out with us. Hey, cows. I don't have any wheat for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never got around to expanding the sheep pen, but that's fine. And the popcorn pigs. You guys have been immortalized in art. Did you know that? Did you know that, piggy? He, that, he, yeah, you know that. This, yeah, you don't. You're just walking off. Alright, I'm tired of the way pigs are ignoring me today. It's hurting my feelings. So we still need to put away everything in our inventory, and I guess we can do that while I am yapping. And we can also go ahead and include blade, include blaze rods as a drop from now on. So let's switch chests to go from crafting item to drop. Many moons ago, I mentioned that the purpose of Muse Farms was to prepare myself to fight the Ender Dragon. And if you'll notice the things we've built so far... You can see that that is exactly what we have done. Granted, some things were more directly related than others, but the sugarcane farm was built in order to build the library, which was built in order to build the enchantment table, which was built in order to enchant items for me. Uh, the sheep and the wool, really just for looks, but they were for the purpose of building a lookout tower which we can use to sort of see out over our entire farm. A child's laughter, don't push me around. And then our collection room sort of tied everything around there together. We have Milk and Shores on this side. Its purpose, stop that. Its purpose was to give us precious melons to use as food, and also glistening melons, which we're going to need for potions for fighting the dragon. And then... This side of Milton Shores, what with the pumpkins, provides us with the hat we're going to have to wear to make sure Enderman don't get pissed off at us when we're in the end. The channel and the boathouse were just basic efficiency things that we would have had to build eventually. And the giant mop grinder, apart from being experience, which we no longer need so much, I guess we may as well keep it on experience mode because there's no point in not doing it. I mean, it takes just about as long to walk by and grab items as it does to walk by and then smack something and grab their items. But that was all an attempt to use gunpowder, or to get gunpowder, to be able to make splash potions, arrows to be able to shoot the dragon, and rotten flesh for feeding our dogs. Our dogs! They were really just for fun. Same with the cows. We could have used the meat that they were necessary, that they provided, but... Same thing as the tree farm and or the tree farm and the wheat farm is that they just provided us with the supplies necessary. 
to actually get by on the farm and continue building the other necessary components. The mushroom farm also, much like the gunpowder, will go towards alchemy and we will use brown mushrooms for making potions. Possibly. If we end up using those potions. Now, what else am I forgetting here? You guys, all you were, all you did was keep us company. That's right, Wooly. And the Porkinator. And Professor Kluckenstein. Professor Kluckenstein was also immortalized in art. And there were some awesome Professor Kluckenstein pictures in the art contest. Uh, so let's start putting the inventory away. I think that's a pretty decent analysis of why we built everything we built on the farm. The last thing I sort of want to talk about is the quarry, which is back there. Still need to hit that up one more time. We're going to be doing a lot off camera. This is actually going to be the final official episode of Muse Farms, but there is still going to be an epilogue, and we're still going to be spending some more time on the farm together. But we're done with the to-do list, and there's not really anything left to build. So let me clean out my inventory, and I can discuss what I'm going to do next. I do find it ironic that it just happens to be thundering at the moment. Uh, torch, I don't need you on me. Because I do happen to love storms in Minecraft, and I realize that makes me a crazy person. But that still does not change anything, so this last piece of nether rack needs to go away, like so. Then I want to unaccomplished dreams or a child's laughter. Sorry, I get you too confused. You're so similar in name. Um, let's see. I still need to bring a good pickaxe on me. I've only got ten arrows left. Wow, I do only have ten arrows left. Do I have any in the drop chest? Maybe. Um, no, no, I don't. And I'll tell you why that is. It's because I used a lot of arrows when I was killing blazes in the nether. So we can craft more of those up real quick. Luckily we have a lot of drops to spare. I think I, yep, I got sticks as well, because we're gonna need these in the near future. So we have that many arrows. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to last us for a while. Put the arrows back away here. You also, so we got that full stack of 64 there. And finally, after all these episodes, Porkinator, wear this saddle. Uh, or don't, apparently. Wear this saddle, Porkinator, and wear it well. You will represent all of pig kind with that saddle. And you, Professor Cluckenstein, what makes you think I want your egg? Here, you can have your egg back. I don't need it. You can raise it as a little Cluckenstein Jr. Alright, let's kill oh, kill all of these guys, even though we don't need experience all that badly right now. There we go, and then what do we have up here? Let's use our diamonds to make a new diamond pickaxe, Oops. and then enchant that with however many levels we have. How many levels do we have? 39 levels of experience, and then see what sort of awesome pick we can get. Hopefully it'll be something with Silk Touch, but at this rate, it's getting getting kind of late for that. You can go away, Mr. Zombie. No, wait, I suck at shooting things on this roof so badly. Let's walk through our Zen Garden here. Take a moment to sort of relax. Enjoy the storm. Hopefully, not get hit by lightning. Are you... How are you dry? You should be completely wet right now. You're cheating. Stand right there. There you go. What's the point of that? Oh, because he's standing right in the archway, so he's dry right there. Okay, well, if you move, you're going to get wet. A child's laughter. This is nice. Okay. Let's go use... Whoa! What's up, buddy? That is not nice at all. That, that's right. A child's laughter is going to mess you up, dude. Thank you. You're such a polite puppy. See how many awesome food break nom 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 
enchants we can get on this pickaxe. So we're level 39. Trying for level 39 here. Uh, hopefully this does not take too long. But I have the feeling it might. You know what? I just saw a 39 and I clicked too fast and skipped past it. Son of a gun. Oh, I need to slow down a little bit. There we go. Level 39 diamond pickaxe. <gasps> what do you have? <clears throat> awesome. Well, you know what? It's better than unbreaking, at least. We have a nice, fast diamond pickaxe, which I'm going to use for a tremendous amount of mining, because before we go on our search for the fortress, I would like to have a full suit of diamond armor, and everyone is going to think I'm crazy when I say this, or I'm a liar, but I assure you... What's up, Stony? It is 100% the truth. I have never once, in all of my time in Minecraft, not even as a server host, worn a full suit of diamond armor. I just don't see the point. I never, ever die from taking, you know, damage in the way that diamond armor gives you, so it just seems like a waste of diamond. Uh, there's enough iron that you can always buy a new suit of iron armor, but... You're really just spending, whatever the number is, like 27 diamonds making a full suit of armor for something that you really never need at all. All the times that I die, I mean, they're from falling in lava or from tremendous amounts of falling damage. But it is hardly ever from, you know, being in too crazy of a fight. So, okay, next order of business. There's some things that I need to do off camera before we before we begin this next chapter of the journey which will be which will be to find a stronghold with an end portal in it and kill the end dragon but i need to use our quarry to get some diamonds uh don't you trample those crops uh i mean trample those crops sorry i said that wrong use our quarry to get a whole bunch of diamonds use our blaze rod grinder to get a whole bunch of experience Use our monster tube to get a whole bunch of arrows, maybe TNT also, and then begin the process. Why don't you come inside? Come come on, a child's laughter. You are just too busy shaking off out there. Sit. There you go. And just do all of the boring, necessary things that are going to be required for our journey to kill the end dragon. <laughs> 